Pat Love with another spooky story followed by Pat's Two Cents. October 31st, 1959, and living in the Midwest, his parents were concerned that their young son did not dress up like a devil or anything occult. So this particular Halloween, he was going out to trick or treat, dressed in raggedy clothes and made up like a hobo. His parents had told him that there were two that there were no such things as ghosts, witches or ghouls. The family attended the Roman Catholic Church, and young William was enrolled in a Catholic parochial school. As he and his friends were walking down the sidewalk that night, William had a vision, and he saw an arching dome in the sky, which seemed to writhe and twist like a living thing. As he continued to look at this sight, he could see clusters as they unfolded. He saw that they were bat-like creatures, digging their little bony claws into the velvet darkness of the night. The creatures had ruby red eyes that seemed to look right into his soul. He received a very quiet message that burned in his soul as the creatures told him, you belong to us now. Terror danced up and down his spine and a sexual surge of power washed down over him which nearly drove him to his knees. From this evening, he became extremely attracted to occultism and as a young adult, he became first a white witch, then a regular hardcore witch, then a Satanist. In, this, in his degradation, he and his wife became involved in sexual orgies, including homosexuality. To satisfy the demons living in his body, William became a vampire, drinking the blood from the necks of the women that he had ritual sexual intercourse with as they voluntarily gave him their bodies and blood. Miraculously, William and his wife, Sharon, became Christians and were delivered from all this evil. Their testimony is written in a book entitled Lucifer Dethroned. Whoa, and you think that there's nothing to the occult? You think that it's harmless little oh, fun? Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, one of my old pastors used to say, you don't play, you won't pay. Are you willing to pay that price? You keep on playing here. Just keep it up. I pray for your soul.